It's the day right after the Grammys. And it was boring, even worse than last year. I'm not a big fan of these award shows just because it's such a pain to watch it. And there is never really a surprise. I mean, you always kind of expect who wins and those persons usually win. So I think we can agree that there's absolutely no point in going through who won what. Again, no surprises. So let's do something instead and talk about the Grammys and award shows in general and why they're not that relevant anymore. So yeah, welcome to the studio. It's nice and sunny outside, nice and warm. I think we can finally say winter is over. We're approaching spring, which is really great. But back to the Grammys. So yeah, why are the Grammys losing relevancy? I mean, here in Germany, outside of the US, people are not that interested in the Grammys. Yes, it's still the highest ranked award for music, for pop music, for hip hop music, and for electronic music, at least the pop kind of electronic music. But no one really talks about it. It doesn't even make it to like the local radio. Um, it's usually more this person was Grammy nominated, this person won a Grammy. It's more something like a badge that you can attach to yourself as a musician, producer, or for whatever else they, they give away Grammys. I think one of the biggest signs that the Grammys are not in a good state are actually all of the, the stars and celebrities that, that didn't show up. For example, Taylor Swift just skipped the Grammys. Childish Gambino didn't show up although he won best song of the year. Kendrick Lamar didn't show up. Ariana Grande also not. She even tweeted, it's just a game. That's not what music is to me. So props to her for making a statement and not showing up. So this already shows you if the people that are getting nominated and awarded do not show up because they're not interested, this award is, is losing its, its relevancy. And I think mainly due to there being other methods of measuring. I almost wanted to say how good a song actually is, but the Grammys were never about trying to find the best song, the best album, the best artist. It's more rewarding the people in the past year that had the biggest impact, the biggest influence on music, and just the most sales. That's also what makes it so boring, because you know all of that already up front. I would love to see more uh, show that is dedicated to finding either new talent or really just like the best in a more objective kind of way. I think even the Oscars are a bit more fair because they don't give all of the Oscars to Black Panther because like everyone just loved it and it made a lot of money. It's a great movie, but I think more in like an entertainment perspective than actually in like being rich in artistic choices and, and like influencing the, the people watching it. Um, I, I hope you get what I mean. And the Oscars, they are a little bit better in awarding a good performance than the Grammys. They are really all about just whoever made the biggest buzz in, in the year. So it's really no wonder Ariana Grande got like breakthrough artist of the year. Well deserved. I mean, she featured with everyone on everything. Not a big fan of her own originals, actually. But um, yeah, she was everywhere. The most standout moment, definitely the tribute to Aretha Franklin. That's how you do it. Like, this was on point and very thoughtful. I think we can all agree on that. But if you had any other favorite moment, let me know in the comments. And let's get back to like the relevancy of the Grammys as an award show. It's really going down by a lot. I think mainly because kind of social media is taking over that role. You're being measured constantly as an artist every single day. 
you post a picture on Instagram, how many likes do you get? Is it more than the day before? So there is not really a need anymore for an award show because you can already see it online. Like how many people are following this person on Twitter? How much influence does the person actually have? And you might say that's not measuring like the quality of the music, but same with the Grammys. They just don't. I think what actually measures way more and way more accurate the quality of the music are the place, the place on Spotify. You can see them immediately. You can go to any artist and check how many people are listening to that artist per month. So if you would let the people that listen to the music judge who is the best one making music, I think it would be at the moment either Drake or Post Malone. Those two are really, really high in the Spotify place. Do they make the best music? Probably not, but they have the most people liking their music. So it's really hard to judge because we're here like talking about art and art is very subjective. Everyone likes something different. Some people absolutely hate Post Malone and Drake. Some absolutely love them. Some still listen to all of the Michael Jackson songs, which are amazing still up to date. That's insane from a perspective of a producer there's there's so much good stuff in those productions that they still hold up but anyways um i would love to see the the grammys change because if they continue just doing what they do less and less people will be interested in that i hope they will support more newcomers and and have more awards dedicated to people that are actually new i mean Ariana Grande would be nice to have someone on there that not everyone knows to actually give someone a platform that deserves it because they make great music and make this accessible to more people than just like the obvious. It's like almost if they're afraid of doing something where the majority of the people doesn't agree. So it's like they're sitting there trying to think of what would everyone pick and then they kind of pick it. So let me know what you would love to see changed. And there's also this huge debate about so little women actually being part of this industry, especially on the music production side. I also don't know why that actually is. I was very close doing like an entire episode about this topic, but I have to be honest, I shied away. I'm fearing the hateful comments. But I, I might still do it because there is like one girl that I don't know if she produces herself. That's my problem. I need to find that out because I think she's being ghost produced and as a DJ might be interesting for an interview. But if she doesn't produce her own music, it's really not interesting for me. And the, the Grammys now dedicated a bunch of money to try to get more girls involved in music production. I don't know if it's like the awareness for it or just girls are not interested in music production because I can for example see the stats of my own channel which is mostly about music production and everyone can watch it if they want to girls or boys doesn't matter but I have like a 95 percent male viewership I think girls are just not interested in music production it's maybe too nerdy too time intensive and too stupid it's something just boys kind of do. It's like playing with toys when you're way too old for toys. That's that's more a boys thing. Because we're stupid. I mean, we can admit that like um, usually when it's about doing stupid things, it's, it's boys doing it. But anyways, I don't want to get too much into that topic. Again, the, the comments will be full of hate. But maybe let your guess in the comments what you think is the reason that less girls are actually into music production and what you would love to see the Grammys do in the future to stay relevant and interesting and also like helping more young artists to actually get known and then get a little bit of fame and traction and fans. So thanks a lot for watching my opinion about the Grammys. We'll see us tomorrow back again here in the studio for another full vlog me producing music.